the reason why we thought it was important to to have a, such a gathering of leaders was that we were convinced that finance should not be at the center of the economic system, but that finance should serve the economy, the economy should serve the common good, and the common good ultimately should serve the citizens, the human beings. Behind every success, every company, every new idea is a person, is a, is a, is a person who is uh, passionate about it, who is uh, uh, a strong, not only, and can go from ideas to action. So by listening to others' stories, of success stories, but the people behind the success, we feel this can inspire others. The paradigm, main, mainstream economic model, which is showing some signs of, uh, of being, let's say, tired, or let's say being uh, uh, not sufficient to solve some of the problems that we face today, I mean, we've, sh we've shown extraordinary growth, we've shown increase of wealth, but we're seeing today, more so in the last 10 to 20 years, you know, more inequalities, uh, uh, more wealthy people uh, that own 90% uh, of the resources of the world, unemployment, we're seeing uh, resources, we're seeing pollution, we're seeing global warming, we're seeing a lot of what business calls externalities, which are playing a very important role. So we think that we need to reinvent, rethink the purpose of what the economic model has to be in order to work for the common good. We need engaged leaders uh, from uh, all countries. The situation is such that we don't have too long to wait. I think we need to work together and use our intelligence to develop a new and better place for uh, the next generation to work in. Uh, the economy has to serve, as I said, the common good and ultimately the human being and all citizens. Thank you.